Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time watching, then welcome. Today I'm really, really excited to be showing you guys and reviewing the MAC 2022 Ramadan Collection. So when I found out that MAC was doing a Ramadan collection this year, I was so excited. I knew it had to be the most prettiest, like gold, just beautiful collection and I was not wrong about that. Everything in this collection is really, really amazing, apart from maybe one product. Um, I'll let you guys see what I think about that in the review portion of this video. Um, I thought I'd mention, as you can see, the background is still not what it used to be. I'm still homeless <laughs> out of my makeup room that's still being renovated, so I'm not ready to move back in there yet so probably expect a few more videos from me with this backdrop but try to ignore that and just focus on me instead and yeah I'm really really excited for this collection and I really want to hear what you guys have to say so let's get on into the video okay so as you can see I've got kind of my base makeup on and I don't have you know the lips and eyes done so I decided for this review I'm going to instead of swatch them on my arm or on my hand I decided I'm going to do like on the face swatches so this is going to take a little bit longer to film but you're going to see a better picture you're going to know how it looks while it's being used as opposed to just a small line on the back of the hand um, so yeah I'm really excited to get into this. This whole collection is so pretty. Um, I love all the packaging, the purple and the gold. So this is the packaging for the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be swatching this one first. This is called the Eyeshadow Times 6 Magnificent Moon palette. So yep, yeah, that is the outer packaging. Then if you open it up, that is what the actual palette looks like. So you've got that metal kind of logo there um, you've got the gold and the purple the moon and all the pretty stars and designs when you open it up these are the shades we've got so it's very um, neutral I really like this palette because it's got like the lighter highlighting shades the mid-tones and then the deeper shades at the bottom I had a wee look at the um, names of the eyeshadows on the back so there is Carbon, which is a classic MAC eyeshadow, um, same with Soft Brown, and I'm pretty sure Embark as well um, are already MAC eyeshadows. And then there's Nylon and Texture, which I'm not 100% sure of, but it does seem like these are shades that MAC already does, and they've just kind of arranged them into this palette for this collection. Okay, so I'm just going to start the swatches on the eye. I'm going to do one shade on each eye, so I'm going to have mitch, mith, mismatched eyes, but um, it'll be easier for me. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the darkest shade because I want to work my way down to the lighter shades because that's what I eventually want to be wearing on the eyes. So starting with Carbon. Okay, so that is carbon on the eye. I've just kind of roughly done it. Obviously, black is a little bit harder to work with and requires a lot of blending. But just for the sake of getting it on the eyes, you can see that's it there. Um, it's really nice and dark and deep. Um, you can get a really like blackest black look out of this eyeshadow. Um, I do, do notice around the edges where it's blended out, it has a slight blue undertone but only very slightly which is quite good i know that every gray has to have either like a blue base or a green base so out of those two i definitely prefer the slight blue base so yep yeah, that is carbon there definitely a staple eyeshadow i do think this whole palette is quite a good like essentials palette so just to chuck in your handbag to do a look on the go or just something that's going to fit every scenario basically um so move on to the next one by the way i am using an eyeshadow base i'm just using the um prolong concealer by mac i really like that um 
to use on the eye because it's really full coverage and it stays moist so it's really good for packing eyeshadows on with next i'm gonna go for the next shade embark whoa it's just dead Okay, and on this side is Embark. So as you can see, that's a really uh, a really dark brown shade. It's got basically almost the same amount of depth as the black does. You can get a really nice deep brown when you're packing it on, and it blends out really nice as well. Um, so you can see that's a lot nicely blended than that one is. This eyeshadow is gonna be a great addition to any kind of essentials type palette because it's really great for deepening up the outer corner, um, doing the under of the eye, doing a smoky liner, doing a blown out smoky eye. The possibilities are just endless once you have like the right combination of eyeshadows. So, so far I'm really liking this palette. Same quality as MAC always does, which as you probably already know, is top notch. Like always, always a great product when you're using MAC. Um, so yeah. That's those two shades. I'm gonna take this off now, reapply some concealer, and move on to the next shades. Okay, moving on to the next shade, Antiqued. Okay, so that is Antiqued. One thing I did notice with this shade, a little goes a long way. So I only applied this just on my lid, and then I blended it out, and it's blended up so high and I don't want to blend it anymore because it's just going to continue to spread um, so I'm just going to leave it at that I can I know that it's badly blended um, but I really like this shade it's like a rich warm like bronzy shade it's got like hints of like orange it really reminds me of like mahogany wood or something just like a really deep luxurious <sighs> yeah antique furniture i guess um so that is a really nice shade and also a really nice shade to go over top of embark uh and also combined with carbon so so far all of these shades i think go really well together um and i'm excited to see how the rest of the shades um look on the eye because i can just like imagine so many different looks with this palette um yeah i'm really excited i'm going to move on to the next one which is texture Okay, already I'm loving this. Okay, that is texture. So I really, really like this color. It's super nice and warm. It's got those orange undertones. For someone with blue eyes, it's going to make the eyes really pop while still being quite neutral. It's almost like a bit of a terracotta shade. This mixed with a bit of embark in the outer corner will be a really nice kind of nighttime look. And I imagine you could use the lightest shade to highlight the inner corner. Um, yeah, I really, so far I'm really liking this palette, it's just really nicely put together. Um, the texture's really like creamy and soft and easy to blend out. If I was doing my makeup for real, then I would probably take a little bit more care and blend them out really nicely and I imagine it wouldn't take too long to do that. I'm actually going to do both eyes with the lighter shade next so i'm going to take a bit more care with that one so yeah let me remove this and i'll move on to the next shade okay so the next one is soft brown and this is actually the very first mac eyeshadow that i ever bought which i bought as an individual shadow um i was looking for something that was going to be a really good transition shade for like a neutral eye and that's exactly what it does it's a really really nice shade um just a classic really just something that's a really good addition to your makeup kit or just your makeup collection um, so I already know that I like it but I'm gonna put it on okay so that is soft brown like I was saying before it's a, just a really nice transition shade it's also just a really nice soft brown no pun intended um, to use all over the eye just like I've done here for like an everyday look quite often I will just do light brown over the eyes and just call it a day it's a bit warmer it's a bit like on the pinky 
um, orangey side with that you know kind of orangey undertone um, really nice for combining with the other shades in this palette I am excited to do a full look with this palette because I think it's just got all of the right tools you need to do like a nice smoky eye or okay anyway I'm repeating myself but yeah that is soft brown on that eye I'm gonna move on to what is it nylon on the other eye this is more of a highlighting shade so I'm not sure how this is going to look all over the eye but we shall see okay that is nylon I actually really really like that it's a nice and brightening it's got a really good amount of shimmer um, it's really creamy and pigmented. I'm really liking it all over the eye I might have to start doing that more often with just like a highlighter shade on the eye also in the inner corner or um, If you're doing a smoky eye to do it in the inner part of the eyelid. Yeah <laughs> Highlight on the upper uh, on the brow bone so many so many opportunities and uses for these eyeshadows, so I've tried all of these um, shades now and Final thoughts, it's a really, really nice palette. If you are looking for something that's just going to be a really good kind of everyday palette, a really versatile palette, small enough to pop in your handbag, but with enough shades to do a variety of different looks, um, this is the palette for you. And the packaging is so pretty. I really, really love this palette. So yeah, I'm gonna fix up this eye and I'm just gonna make my eyes matte so that I can show you guys the next product in the collection. Okay, so I quickly chucked on soft brown on the other eye and I put nylon in the inner corners to be like a highlight shade, which brings us to our next product of the collection. It is the um, <laughs> Jewel Dare All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. So this is a product that MAC already does and it's limited edition packaging for this collection um, so as you can see it's got the nice gold and purple packaging with the little stars and stuff all over it this is a dual eyeliner so on one end we've got the felt tip liquid eyeliner um, and on the other end we've got the twist up crayon type eyeliner as well so that is really good if again you want something that you can just chuck in your purse and carry around and it's going to be good for multiple different purposes um i've personally never used this product before so i'm going to test it out and pop a little bit on um and then you can see how it wears with this eyeshadow as well i'm going to start with the crayon eyeliner and just fill in my tight line this is a little bit of a weird thing to watch um, so that is just me filling in my tight line. I'm not sure if you can see, you probably can. Um, it just makes the whole lash line on the top of the eye look a lot darker, makes the eyelashes seem like they've got more volume, um, and it also just stops that. You can, sometimes you can see that little line. If you're wearing a liquid eyeliner on top and you don't do the tight line, you can see that like kind of separation in between the lashes. So I always do this every day. Sometimes with black, sometimes with brown, depending on... What look I'm doing? I'm not going to do the bottom because I feel like I've already got small eyes as it is, so I don't want to make them look smaller. Next, I'm going to move on to the liquid liner, and I'm going to do I'll do a winged liner, but in my own kind of way, and it's probably not going to be perfect, but whatever. So it's a bit firmer than the brush stroke eyeliner, which has the brush bristles. This one is quite like crisp, if that makes sense. It's firm, the point gives you like a really sharp edge. I think it would probably soften up over time. Okay, that's nice to do with it for a wing. Okay, this is a little difficult. I must admit I'm not the biggest fan of this pen tip. I feel like it's a little bit too firm. It drags the skin when I'm trying to apply it. It's not as easy to use. I think if this had the brush stroke tip, I would like it a lot more 
Okay, that'll do. Uh, I'm gonna do the next eye and then I'll be back. Okay, I've done a horrible job on my eyeliner, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna leave it as that because I am gonna put lashes on and that's gonna kind of disguise everything. But first I'll just give a few thoughts on this product. So I really like the idea and the concept. Um, I really like the twist up eyeliner. The problem I have is with the felt tip eyeliner. So I really struggle with this. Um, I have used other felt tipped eyeliners in the past and really liked them. So I think this one is just maybe a little bit too firm. Um, it drags the skin too much. And when trying to use it on the tip, I found that not much product came out, if any at all. Um, so maybe it will take some getting used to and time for it to soften up. But for now, I'm going to stick with my brush stroke eyeliner because I much prefer that one. Yeah, so I'm going to pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll be back. Okay, got my lashes on. I feel almost complete. I feel like there's not that much more to go, but there actually is quite a bit. Um, so the next product that I'm going to show you guys is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Times 4 Surrounded by Stars. So this reminds me a lot of the Rosalia Extra Dimension Skin Finish Palette. Um, it's very, very similar. So it's that square, that same size. Um, this looks very, very similar to the eyeshadow palette. So again, very gorgeous packaging could actually pull that little plastic thing off. When you open it up, you've got the four different highlight shades. They've all been pressed with some really nice like moon and stars design. Um, you've got the variation of shades. So you've got the light kind of champagne gold, the deeper gold, the rosy gold, and that is like a deeper rosy gold. <laughs> um, I feel like some of these shades could maybe be used for blushes if you've got a lighter skin tone. Actually, that one looks more bronze now that I'm looking at it. Um, but yeah, if you've got a lighter skin tone, you could probably use the pinky ones as more of like a shiny blush. But I'm sure they probably look really nice in rose gold on someone with a deeper skin tone. Um, so yeah, let's go on and try this. I'm really sad to be dipping into this and ruining the display of the pattern. But it has to be done. So I'm actually going to apply this. I'm going to apply it in four different parts of the face so that I can just pop all of the different colors on at the same time. Um, and I am going to use this brush to do some of that. So this is a dual ended brush. We've got the 129. This one says SES. I'm not sure what SES means. I know when it's just S it means synthetic. It definitely feels synthetic. Um, on the sub we've got the 168 SES. So these are brushes that MAC already does, except they don't come in like the dual brush format. Um, again, handy if you want to just chuck something in your bag that can be multifunctional. Um, so like I was saying, it is synthetic, so it feels like plastic. It doesn't feel like real hair, but at the same time it's super, super soft. So the Cruella brushes, you might might remember those, there was one this shape, the 129, um, and that was also synthetic. I believe all the brushes are synthetic these days, um, but that one was quite rough and scratchy. It was nowhere near as soft as this. This feels like it almost could be natural fibres, but I know it's not. So yeah, that's a little review on the brush. I'm going to use the angled side to apply a little bit of highlighter to the cheekbone so I think I'll use I'll go in with the oh darling on one cheekbone oh darling that is <laughs> that is quite nice isn't it oh wow so you can see that you can build up the amount of like a wow factor that you want with this um, formula so that is the lightest champagne gold shade that is super blinding the way that I've applied it anyway I like a highlighter shade close to this because it's close to my natural skin tone so even though it's really shiny and obviously your face isn't naturally that shiny um, it looks natural <laughs> in a way so yeah I really like that 
I've always liked the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Formula. Um, I was a huge fan of the Rosalia one as well, so I'm not surprised that this one is very similar. Next, I'm going to go in with Surrounded by Stars on the other cheek. So these are all limited edition shades as well. This one is very nice as well. You can see it's still that golden bronzy shade. It's a little bit darker if you're doing a more like sun-kissed look or if you had a deeper skin tone that would look really nice. It would give the same effect that this does on my skin tone. Um, I can see myself using this when I'm a bit more tan. It can also be used on the eyes as well. That's another great thing about highlighters is that you get such a big pan that if you want to use it on the eyes or elsewhere like on the body then you totally can without like running out um, super quickly. So yeah, I really like those shades. I'm going to move on to the other two shades now. I think I will go... I'll do the lighter pink hushed tone. I'm just going to do this on my cupid's bow because I'm running out of places. I know that's far too dark, but why not? At least you can see how it looks. I actually quite like the way that looks. Like if you had lipstick on, it gives kind of e-girl vibes. Again, obviously if you were a darker skin tone that would look really, really nice. Um, next I'm going to go in with the final shade which is called Hard To Get. I'm going to pop this on my nose because I'm going to further the e-girl look more and make myself look sunburnt. Well. Uh, a little goes a long way. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Okay, so I look absolutely ridiculous, but at least you can see what the different shades look like. Um, I look like Rudolph. <laughs> um, it's a look. So you can see that the lighter pink shade, it almost gives off like a coral kind of tone the one on the nose it definitely is a bit more bronzy or like rose gold um so at least i could show you that by putting these on my face in weird spots uh, this one is definitely my favorite shade you're definitely going to have one shade that works better with your skin tone out of all of them just depending on your undertones and all of that um so yeah that is the highlighter palette swatched on the face I'm going to just kind of fix this up a little bit before I move on to the next products. Okay, so I just ended up putting Oh Darling over everywhere else <laughs> um, and removing the pinky stuff off my face. So now I'm going to show you guys the next product, which is actually four products. Um, so it's a variety of lip pencil. You can see they come in the same packaging as all the other products. And we have four different shades, and these are actually... Four shades that MAC already does and are already really well known. Four of my favourite shades actually. So they are Boldly Bare, Spice, Whirl and Soar. So these are all four quite neutral shades. Really good if you're a makeup artist to put in your tool belt. You can almost guarantee that the majority of your clients are going to want one of these four lip pencils. Even though they're already products out, I'm still going to try them on just so you can see the whole collection in one spot um, so I'm gonna start off with Spice so this is one of the first lip pencils I ever bought from MAC it's recently been making a comeback too um, even though for me it never left yeah it was one of those like 90s lip pencils that everyone went crazy over so let me just pop this I'm gonna do it all over the lip so you can see the true shade Okay, so that is Spice Lip Pencil, one of my favorite MAC lip liners ever. So you can see it's kind of like a warm brown with, I think it's got a bit of a rosy undertone, a rosy like orangey undertone. A really versatile lip pencil shade, um, goes with so many different neutrals. You can use it as like a, for an ombre effect with a lighter lip color. Um, I quite often wear it with Honey Love because it does kind of deepen it up a little bit and just give it a bit more dimension um yeah spice okay next i'm gonna go with boldly bare 
so as the name suggests another one that is like more of a neutral nude shade okay so this is boldly bare it's a bit softer than spice and i think it's a bit more pinky toned so probably better suited for the lighter more pinky shades like i think this would look really nice with cream cup um doing like an ombre lip or um kind of sexy this one actually really really reminds me of kind of sexy i think that's probably it's perfect lip match pairing um, if i do say so myself I really like the shade again another very versatile shade great to have in your kit if you're a makeup artist these are definitely shades I use a lot uh, with my clients so yeah on to the next one okay next we have whirl and this one was the lip pencil that was made famous by Kylie Jenner alongside Velvet Teddy um, so that is what Kylie Jenner always would pair with her Velvet Teddy lipstick and I'll show you what it looks like now. Okay, so this is Whirl. Again, another very versatile pencil. This one I always consider Whirl to be like a cocoa brown. Like a, if you're having a hot chocolate or hot cocoa, that's what this reminds me of. Like that kind of color. It's rich, it's deep ish um and i do kind of think it has more of like a mauvey purpley dusty rose kind of undertone um so it's not completely flat which is one thing that i really don't like about you know the more cocoa-y chocolatey type colors uh, for the lips is that um quite often that they can be a bit flat so i like to have a bit of a color base behind it just to kind of give it a bit more life this one you could pair obviously with velvet teddy like i said before you could pair it with whirl <laughs> um the lipstick because they're obviously the perfect shades for each other probably pair it with taupe yeah the again the possibilities are endless you could pair it with a lighter lip lipstick and do like an ombre lip but yeah that's what whirl looks like okay and last but not least we've got saw this is actually another one of my first ever MAC lip pencils. So my first was Magenta, then um, Spice, and then Saw. So this one is more of a pinky, purpley. And yeah, let me just show you. Okay, here we have a Saw. So it is a little bit warmer. It again has like a dusty rose kind of undertone, kind of purple. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit warmer than Whirl. Again, another very, um, what's the word? I should know, I've said it so many times. Versatile shade. This one is nice because it's got just that extra step up of warmth and color than Whirl does. Goes with lots of different types of lipsticks. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. I don't think I really need to say too much. Okay, so then we have the lipsticks. There are four of them. They're all limited edition shades as well. So shades you won't find anywhere else all four of them are mattes it can be hit or miss with um the matte lipstick some people really really love it because it is long lasting and um it's not going to move around on the face as much some people don't like it because it's not as comfortable to wear so this is the packaging that the lipsticks come in same theme as the rest of the products when you open it up it's got the gold this shade here is called Across the Sky. A bit of like a warm uh, mauve shade. This one is going to pair really well with the Saw Lip Liner. I'm going to try this one on first. So this one is definitely like more on the pinky side. It's um, definitely best suited to the Saw Lip Pencil. Although I do think it's a bit more pink and a little bit less... Um, purpley and like a little bit less cool toned i did notice when applying it that it feels really creamy even though it is a matte lipstick so it's always good when you get the best of both worlds really nice everyday shade if you're someone who likes like a pink shade something a little bit on the deeper side or something for like a really soft natural look if your skin is a little bit deeper um but yeah that is across the sky Next we've got Skies Above, so this is 
a more of like a warm brown like rich chestnutty type shade i live for a warm brown shade like this it's similar to marrakesh but it looks like it's a bit lighter so i'm really excited to see how this looks because this could be one of my new favorites okay i'm gonna try it on <laughs> okay let me fix that okay that'll do for now okay this is skies above and i am actually living for this okay i found my new favorite and i'm definitely going to be purchasing that one um so i feel like i already said everything i needed to say before except now i just want to confirm that all of the things i said before are indeed correct because this one is very similar to Marrakesh in the undertones, but it's a lot lighter, a bit more wearable, good for everyday wear, especially if you like to wear shades like this. It just goes really perfectly and nicely. I'm so excited because I am going to wear this next chance I get. Not that I can wear lipstick at work at the moment, but in the future I definitely will. All right, now let me move on to the other two shades. Okay, so we have Hey Moon, and this one looks similar in depth to the last one, but more on that pinky mauvey side, a little bit deeper for more of a bold lip. I'm going to try this on. Okay, so this is Hey Moon. It is similar to the Skies Above in terms of... I don't know like mutedness and depth and warmth but this one is a little bit more on the pink side yeah really pretty shade i really like all of these products i'm super excited this i think is my favorite matte collection since i've worked for the brand i think everything in this collection is amazing i'm gonna do the last look Okay, the last lipstick is called Moon and Back, so I'm seeing a Moon and Stars theme here. Is anybody else seeing that, or just me? So, this one, this shade here is Moon and Back, so that's a bit more of a deeper, burgundy, like, deep purple kind of shade. That is going to look really nice for a nighttime look. I'm just going to try it on. Okay, so this is Moon and Back. I really like this lipstick for something a bit more bold. It's more of a vampy kind of shade. I like to wear a lipstick like this with just a winged out eyeliner or like just a soft eyeshadow like this. I like to just do the focus on one part of the face, so whether that be eyes or lips. So yeah, this is a shade that I can see myself wearing quite often when I want something that's quick and effective because I can just do minimal makeup and then just do a statement lipstick. Um, <clears throat> I think all of the lipsticks and the lip liners go together really nicely, although I will admit that none of the lip liners in this collection will go with this lipstick. I think probably Cyberworld or Plum might go better, um, just because they're a bit darker and you kind of need that depth. Otherwise, you're just going to be going over it anyway. So, um, in order to help with the shaping of the lip, I do think use a, a darker lip pencil than what is in this collection. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess I will just do a general kind of final words on this collection. I knew this collection was going to be amazing, but I didn't know that I was going to really, really love all of the products. Oh wait, I forgot. One of the products <laughs> my bad um there's not too much to say about it anyway it's just a fix plus and the regular formula so just a regular fix plus and it has the limited edition packaging with the moons and the stars i'll spray a little bit to set my makeup okay anyway yeah, I, I wasn't expecting to really like all of the products. When I saw the eyeshadow palette, I was like, oh, that's a little bit basic. I do kind of have like all of that already. And to be fair, I do have a couple of those shades already. Um, but the way that they're just packaged all together in the small, like kind of go-to, on-the-go kind of packaging, and it's all you need in one palette, I'm a really big fan of that. The highlighter palette I also really, really like. Um, definitely suited for probably a deeper skin tone. Um, the one shade that kind of works for me, I do really like it. 
but I think I will be using that palette for my kit to um, use on clients because I do need to have that bigger variety of shades for every kind of skin tone but yeah again really nice product and really creamy and a really good formula the lip pencils I just love because they're really great lip liners and they have the really nice packaging so I'm a bit of a sucker for that um, what else is there the brush is nice um, it's nothing special but if you wanted to make your first MAC brush purchase and you wanted to get the best bang for your buck then that's a good option because you get the double ended brush and I find the bigger one is really good for bronzer and the smaller one's really good for blush so that's going to help with your face routine and the eyeliner that's kind of a hit or miss for me um, I like the concept and I like half of the eyeliner but I don't like the other half the felt tip one so I won't be buying that one but the rest of the stuff I absolutely love so I'm really excited to hear what you guys think about this collection um, if you're gonna get anything and if you've bought anything what do you like the most or even just what you like the most just just tell me anything really I um, I'd love to hear what you have to say um, and yeah hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and i hope you have a good day i'll see you in the next one